So hi guys, I'm Pankaj. I'm the new guy in the block at Gully Cricket, and uh, hopefully we'll do a lot more content with me as well. Since Asta is not here, we have a twelfth man today with us. Since the tail ender is missing, yeah. we have a twelfth man today. Welcome to another video of the match preview that we have been doing for the last two three weeks, and this time we are going to talk about India versus South Africa third ODI. And the series is tied at one one. First match was very one sided. Uh, India. Kind of dominated, and so was the second one. Actually, uh, South Africa won by eight wickets. So yeah, and I have Mukul and Lavish with me to talk about the game as well. So hi guys. So yeah, guys, back to the match and one-one series is tied. What do you think? Yeah, I think evenly poised first match. India dominated. I think second match South Africa has dominated. Uh, would be good to see who comes on top in the third. Uh, I think it was fairly opposite. A, a clear domination from India in the first, and then. A clear domination from South Africa in the second. So yeah, interesting to see uh, what happens in the third one. Uh, I don't think it was domination in second. It went a little close actually. First <laughs> match was domination. Right? Yeah. <laughs> second match, I think they just uh, lost the plot somewhere in between. I think too many inexperienced players are playing in the team at the same time. They are just throwing their wickets. Like I don't know for how long Samson will uh, remain uh, inexperienced or like you know he will keep getting chances. But that was very immature of him to throw his wicket. Uh, it was expected from Rinku Singh, maybe like you know that he will play. But uh, I think he also uh, got into the habit of T20, got stumped as far as I remember. Uh, so yes, we, not having like a Shreyas Iyer also, and then Virat and Rohit are obviously not there. Jadeja is not there. So the whole team pretty much is like you know uh, very uh, newbies. So, if you consider that, then I think, and Africa is not like that. Africa is playing their full power as as many as they can. So, it was a decent match, if you ask me. Yeah, I think they started off well. I think uh, up until I think you could see KL Rahul had that maturity to at least save yes. it for some time and you know uh, go deeper. But uh, after KL Rahul, I think. Again, like you said, no shares as well. So that majority seemed to be missing uh, from the lineup. Yeah, and, and a word for Tony D. Jersey as well. He was one nineteen not out yesterday. R. Hendricks as well, fifty two. Um, both the opening batsmen for uh, South Africa are doing pretty well. Yeah, came as a surprise. I don't think may- maybe not a lot of people must have picked them for the Gali cricket teams, but. Uh, I think impressive knock. I think staying not out and just uh, you know South Africa in the end winning wickets. I think overall impressive. Yeah. So okay. On since we have the data as one would say for the you know for the last two matches in the third match, what do you think who wins the series? KL Rahul said whoever wins the toss might win the series. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, uh, I think it's not one hundred percent like that because South Africa was chasing last time they won. Like you know, I think South Africa first match decided to bowl, and they lost the plot completely. <laughs> you know, after they and I think also Markram said in the presentation after the first match. I didn't hear the last one, but in the, after the first match, he said that you know we were we were expecting the ball to move around a little bit, but it, I think it was way too much. And they were uh, expecting spinners to come into the play, but they didn't know how the pacers to call the wicket for India, like Arshdeep and Mukesh. Uh, sorry, Avesh Khan. So yes, uh, I mentioned in my ODI video also, if you remember, that uh, the preview which we did for the series that uh, South Africa is f- famous for odd bounce and like you know difficult different pitches, and that's what's happening. Yeah, we did speak about it in the last video. I remember. Uh, okay. So, what do you think? What what changes are either team going to make? Because I'm guessing there will be a lot of changes from one match to the other. Yeah, especially in the bowling side, since you said the pitch can be a bit tricky, Mukul. From our end, I don't know if we have any options. Like you know, we don't have Bumra or Ishami or. Any other fixed bosses. This is the team. And even from that, like a few players have gone to the ODI team. So, bowling, I think we have done well. Even despite of the total we had last time, we still took gave them enough like uh, trouble with the bowl. In the end, it was like only when 50-60 runs for remaining, like 30-40, everybody tries to hit short, finish off quickly. 
but initially if you see the run rate was almost neck to neck like it was needed like four point something was needed and their run rate was four point something in a way you can say they were being comfortable but that's not, definitely not the style of how you play in power play in modern day cricket so the bowlers were troubling them enough but not enough to win the match obviously because the score was uh, too less but i would still go with the same bowling attack i don't think i would change anyone in the team actually I think given uh, Rinku took a wicket, maybe <laughs> we should try Rinku a little bit more this time in the bowling. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, looking at it from a fantasy point of view, and as always, we do the players to pick. Lavish, who makes your fantasy team this time round? I think you shouldn't miss out on Sai Sudarshan. Definitely, I think he's shown a lot of promise in the first two matches. You can clearly see he's playing with a lot of confidence. Maybe not the biggest of scores. I think he scored 50-something and 60-something. Uh, but he uh, he's shown that he can bat well. And I think uh, maybe he's due a big score with the third one. Who knows? So I think I wouldn't miss out on uh, Sai Sudarshan for the third one. What about you, Mukul? Any thoughts on this? Same. I think Tony D. Zorzi and Sai Sudarshan has been really consistent. I would still want that Rajat Patidar gets one chance. But since it's a uh, decider, I don't know if he will. Uh, I thought he would. Like, if it was a dead rubber, I think he definitely would have. But uh, it's not a dead rubber. So, with the series on the line, I am not sure if he will get a chance or not. Maybe they will drop Samson and give Rajat Patel a chance. Who knows? But other than that, I think, yeah, Sai Sudarshan and KR Rahul are definitely the ones to look out from from our team. And from South Africa, it's unexpected. Like, you, anyone can come and play a big knock at any time. So, it's quite uh, difficult to choose from South Africa. Yeah, I think you could take good punts on Indian batsmen, even bowlers. We don't know who might turn up. First match, Ashdeep took five and Navesh Khan took four. And then, uh, like Mukul said, they yes. gave them trouble in the second, but then didn't materialize into wicket. So, who knows who would you know step up in the third one. Same from South Africa side, I think. Uh, Dizozzi uh, hit a century. Nobody was really expecting him. I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't think so. A lot of people would have picked him and said to themselves, I'll pick this guy and he'll score the century. So, uh, you know, maybe this is a good chance for people to try out a few differential picks and, uh, you know, uh, maybe take make two or three teams to cover all their bases and then just see something. Uh, the obvious picks might work like a size of the show, <clears throat> but uh, take take a punt on maybe some big hitters and they might uh, come through in the third one. So who knows? Okay, so while there might be a lot of certain uncertainty over who's going to play this game and who's not, I still can't let you guys go without having your match prediction. So again, unbiased opinion. Do you think South Africa wins? Again, I think, yeah. I mean, South Africa is definitely the favourites going. Uh, just because if you do man-to-man -man marking of players in India team and uh, South African team, South Africa team is obviously very strong. But uh, yeah, I mean, anyone, anything can happen in a cricket match, obviously. Yeah, and I think, yeah, rightly, I think on paper, South Africa are the better side, clearly. Uh, I think bar one or two players, a lot of the Indian side is still slightly unexperienced. Uh, I was expecting maybe, you know, Gaikwad will turn up and he'll show his metal in the series. He hasn't turned up. Maybe if he turns up and, you know, India can uh, have a good opening, strong opening pair along with Sai Sudarshan and, uh, you know, both Gaikwad and Sudarshan can put together. Maybe India have a chance. Bowling's pretty unpredictable. So, yeah, I think hard to predict. Maybe if, okay, I'll I'll be the edgy guy. So, if Mukul's going with South Africa, I'll go with India. <laughs> so, we have a tie here as well then. Okay. Okay, with that, guys, uh, the league is live on the app. Gully Cricket, match prizes are mega. Tournament is worth $4,500. Double single, you can stand a chance to win $1,000 if you come first. So, do participate there as well and make your teams. Yeah, with that, we'll be signing off and see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. It, it helps us keep, keep our job. Me and Lovers especially, yeah. <laughs>